Hello, I'm going to cut you to some video shortly of a potato living bill I did a number of years ago when I still had my border collie with me, Molly, and I was revealing my first bucket of early potatoes. And lo and behold, some of those potatoes were burst. They had splits in them. Now if you're new to gardening, you may not have seen this before. You certainly don't see it when, when you buy shop-bought potatoes. But when you're growing your own potatoes, occasionally you'll turn potatoes out that are burst, that have splits in them. Hey, what causes that? What causes that? Well, the best way to find out, probably, is to ask an expert. That's what I did. And I've got the expert's reply. And it's at the back end of this video. So if you want to know why the experts think potatoes split, stay at the end of the video. I will just show you these now. These are some I've lifted over the last uh, hour. I've just been drying a little, the soil's still on. But hey, look at this. I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can. A potato's burst, looks like a split to me. Here's another one. If you're harvesting potatoes now that are burst or split like this and you want to know the probable cause, watch this video right to the end. I hope you enjoy it. I enjoyed seeing Molly again when I uh, decided to recycle the video. Okay. Hello, this is my first potato reveal of the year. This is a potato called Maris Bard. One seed potato in this 10 inch pot. It's been in here for about 15 weeks. It looks quite healthy, I'm, I'm quite... Uh, I'm not too sure I really want to do this. It looks as though there's more growing to be done. But we need some potatoes indoors, and that's why we're growing them. So Maris Bard is going to deliver today. I've got two of these guys, I've got another pot standing uh, next to me as well. We'll do this one first, then we'll do the other one. Okay. Molly's looking quite excited because she loves a five a day and potatoes. Part of that five a day. You'll get over there, we'll tidy you up later. I'll pop those on there and hope that they don't fall off. And take this ticket out. This pot feels as though it could be quite wet because we've had wet weather, dry weather, wet weather, dry weather. We've had all kinds this year. Well, not a lot there. Molly's there. Let's see what we can get. Well, we didn't expect anything there, did we? Because that's uh, below the seed potato. Oh, yep. That's looking uh, promising, isn't it? Got one. I think we've got the seed potato as well here. Yeah, it's a seed potato and it's gone rotten. It's half of the course, I think. Well, this isn't, looks as though it isn't going to be one of my better reveals, but it's a reveal, nevertheless. Uh, let you see what we've got. Well, I don't like saying I'm disappointed, but, but I am. You may as well know. Um, 
I hope you're doing better than I am with those early potatoes. That looks like it more. That looks like it's way down. I think there's a titchy one in there for you, don't worry. Well, blimey, I'll be lucky if there's a pound there. Right, okay, let's get this uh, second pot up. Fingers crossed. Hold on, Walt. Here we go. Maris bird, 15 weeks, take that out before we tip it. In the pocket. Let's see what we've got here. Blimey, not a potato inside. Is there? Blimey. What's happening? Have we lost our touch? I think we've lost our touch more. <laughs> Oops. It's really wet, mind. Look at that. It's sticking to me. There we go. See how that one's got that split in it? It's usually an indication of um, changing weather conditions. Wet, dry, wet, dry, cold, warm, wet, dry, cold, warm, you know what I mean? And see it more. No, that's not for you. That was... I'll get you one, don't worry. Oh, got a few more like that. We'll be happy with Molly. Oh. Well, my mate will be happy because there's quite a few small ones turning up. Oh, what happened there? Rotten, won't make the cut. Right. We'll pop indoors. We'll uh, clean these guys up and we'll weigh them, shall we? See what we've got. Two pots, we'll be lucky if there's two pounds. That's my uh, initial guess. Let me show you these guys. Hold on, let me lean forward. See if I can get this off here without uh, dropping it all over the place. That's it. <laughs> two pots. Come on, there's got to be something better than this, Mall. This is power. Come on, we'll go inside and weigh these. Come on. We'll give them a wash and we'll weigh them. Okay, let's do the weighing. Um, but before I do that, uh, I want to show you something. Can you see the split in that potato? A big split. See that? Let's see if I can get it right. If it'll balance. Yeah. Can you see that split in that potato? Do you know what causes that? There's another split in this one, just a small one there. Well, I didn't know what caused it um, a couple of years back, uh, and I wrote to um, a gardening expert. And just asked what the cause was of potatoes splitting. And I got a, a lovely reply. Um, and I'm going to add that reply on the end of this video. So if you want to know why potatoes split, if you already know and you just want to confirm um, that what you believe to be true is true, yeah, stay at the end of this video. Um, 
But let's weigh these guys now. Eh? Let's let's move this out the way. And this is two seed potatoes worth. Shared a few more like that. <laughs> That's what we want, but we didn't get it. Right. And lots of titchy ones. We'll throw them on just to get us over that bound. Hold on, Bob. There's one for you, sweetheart. Is that a pound and a quarter? Hope you're getting that. Pound and a quarter. That's disappointing. Crikey, I've had three pound from one seed potato in a 10 inch pot over the years. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's early. Uh, it's early in the growing season, isn't it? There's, there's more pots to come, but um, they're standing out there, and they're in the same weather conditions that these two pots have been through. So maybe this is a, a taste of what's to come. What do you think? Anyway. Yeah, I'll post that up. I'll post that um, that nice response up that I got. Um, white potato split. Um, we'll finish up on a more cherry note. We'll give my mate Molly a couple of small potatoes. Yes, we will, sweetheart. Yeah, these are for you. Just let me adjust this camera, and there's a couple of small potatoes for you. I've got two big brown eyes staring at me in a tail wagging. I'm sure if you're a dog owner, you'll uh, you'll recognise that uh, scenario. Yeah, right. Hold on, Mo. That's a nice little one, isn't it? Oh, did you enjoy that? Look, I've got to show you this because I know people talk about giving animals raw veg and stuff. Look how big they are. It's not as big as my thumbnail, is it? It's not going to harm anybody. Just in case you haven't got your glasses with you, I'll go through this with you. If you're lifting potatoes that have split or burst, this reply from an expert might tell you why. Potato splitting. Thank you for your inquiry. Large growth cracks in potato tubers usually due to unsynchronized growth between inner and outer tuber tissues. The disorder is sometimes known as bursting. The fissures develop when the core tissues inside the tuber grows faster than the outer tissues. The resulting fissure or crack can extend the entire length of the tuber and may be shallow or half an inch deep. The cracks are able to heal and show a characteristic supersized appearance. And unlike with some tuber damage, when hurled, the cracks are seldom susceptible to infection by pest or disease. The sudden and rapid growth of internal tuber tissue, primarily due to a combination of uneven availability of moisture and rapid uneven uptake of water. This occurs when heavy rain or excess short-term irrigation is followed by a period of dryness. The problem can be exacerbated by uneven feeding. By this I mean uneven placement of fertiliser rather than uneven timing. But it can also occur if there is excessive nitrogen available or if nitrogen fertiliser is applied late during the tuber development. To minimise this disorder, it is important to ensure adequate soil moisture with constant watering and uniform feeding, especially avoiding excessive and late applications of nitrogen. I'm glad the crop wasn't spoiled and hope this information helps you to avoid the same thing happening again next year. Best wishes. <laughs> well, 
As you can see from the intro to this video, it didn't help me, did it? I must have got my watering wrong again. Too much, too little, too often, not often enough. I don't think I uh, added any additional nitrogen. In fact, I know I didn't. So it's just a watering issue. I had it then, I've still got it. I haven't learned my lesson. Well, there's one thing we can't control, and that's the weather. If it's hot, it's hot. If it's cold, it's cold. If it's dry, it's dry. If it's wet, it's wet. And growing in buckets and containers, they are quite susceptible to water logging. Good drainage is important, uh, and I think I've got that. But when the rain's torrential, uh, or if you're heavy handed with your watering can, yeah, this is what happens, isn't it? This is what happens. It's happened to me again this year. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.